Hey, girl. Welcome back to Fox News Saturday Night, where we are happy to report something productive happened in D.C. this week. Maine Senator Susan Collins announced that potatoes will remain classified as a vegetable and not a grain. For those of you not familiar with either, after all, we are the fattest nation in the world. This is a grain and this is a vegetable. Stop it! <laughs> you stop it right now, Jimmy! I needed to take one cheap shot at the president because I took a tour of the White House this week and I was on my absolute best behavior. Check it out. Last week, I was taking a tour of the White House when a very special guest flew in to not say hi. Here it comes, kids. Buckle up. Here comes Marine One. This is not a drill, it's a real thing. If you look out over the Washington Monument, that right there is the president of the United States, the person who runs the whole world, Jill Biden, is about to get off that helicopter. But long before they landed on the South Lawn, we explored the North Lawn, where the tour guides have really good hair. So just give me some intel on what we're looking at. This is the West Wing. West Wing, yep. Uh, Martin Sheen used to work there. What are the tents over here? It's this crazy. Is... Uh, you might have seen this on our air, actually. This yeah. is where the protesters have uh, been <laughs> This living. is the Free Palace yeah. Lawn. There's a big Columbia constituency here at the White House. Ducey was kidding. Those are TV tents, where high-priced talent like him hang out until it's time to go live. Until then, it's a really calm vibe. When you really look around right now, it's nothingness. You know, one guy with a rifle pointed at me because he heard I work at Fox News, but everybody else is just in between shots. Yeah, the White House lawn is to die for because they'll shoot you if you run on it. And it's only fair given the quality. Nice mulch. It's one of the things that jumps out at you. As a kid who grew up in the suburbs, okay, the mulch is striking here. And you want a good mulch. You don't want Xi Jinping flying in from the other side of the world and being like, really? American mulch is no, we take pride in our mulch here at the White House. Look at this lawn. This looks like Yankee Stadium. The Yankees could field ground balls on this. The Mets could, well, the Mets couldn't field ground balls, but they could take ground balls on this. When I wasn't complimenting the landscapers, I took some time to film a promo for my own show. Hey, Jimmy Fallon, coming to you live from the White House, reminding you that Fox News Saturday night with Jimmy Fallon is, wait, is that Commander the Dog? Yo, we gotta go, we gotta go. I couldn't risk getting bit by a German Shepherd and I certainly wasn't going to shoot a dog because I'm a TV host and not the governor of South Dakota. So I decided to head inside and try my hand at being press secretary instead. All right, I'm gonna open it up to some brief questions. Uh, you at NBC. Uh, yes, Mr. Fela, uh, what's it like having the best show on Fox? You know, you'd think it'd be a little bit of an adjustment you know, because when you follow in Greg Gutfeld, you got big shoes to fill. But in his case, they're like a size three, so it's not so bad. And then it was time for the main event. Looks pretty smooth on the approach. They couldn't get a gate, so they're actually going to go back around in taxi. They didn't, they didn't get cleared. There's a Spirit Air flight that's at the gate before them. All right, boys, let's, let's wind those engines down. Jimmy's hair is getting messy. Now, Biden actually comes down a slide these days. So these people coming out at the bottom, one guy's going to get a hand, one guy's going to get a foot, and then they, they carry him back to the White House. As you'd imagine, hosting the best show in cable news entitles me to a lot of perks. But in the end, I'm sticking with my regular lifestyle. Tell him he can go. I booked an Uber already. Thank you, but no. No, no, we have an Uber. It's fine. But that next time, say hello to Maria and the kids. Thank you again to the White House for a phenomenal day. As a wise man once said, we did so much winning, we got sick of winning. We came, we saw, we didn't get tased. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.